was a judge and my friend. Now, he is the President of the United States of America. We used to play kick the can and wrestle when we were young. Sadly, he had to grow up too fast. His parents died before he was 15. It was a sad, tragic accident when it happened. He didn't deserve to grow up this fast. We were cutting a hickory tree when he got news of what happened. I felt so hor horrible when he was told. If only he was able to be with his parents when it happened. Like many people out in the civilized part of life, he was born in a log cabin, and so was I. We were like brothers until he became commander of the nation's army. He became stricter and was harder to get along with. Nothing between us really changed. I was in the army with him. He was my commanding officer and he was mainly with my unit when we were in battle. But every time I would joke, he would snap at me like he was my father and I was being a very rude little child. Little by little, he made his way up then became the President of the United States of America. When I found out, I was over, over filled with joy. Although he was the President, he had many responsibilities. He, was, he always found time to talk to me. Now and then he had responsibilities to tend to. Like the time he had to settle an argument about the National Bank while he was sick. Between him and Bully Nick, they always called Nicholas Biddle, Bully Nick. Especially during the time when they were arguing between the National Bank and the constitutional rights about it. People always thought Andrew Jackson was going to be more of a dictator than a president. They always thought that he would tear up the Constitution and throw it out, unlike the other presidents before him. They thought he was going to be a dictator, like a king, but he proved them wrong. He was a great man before he died. His term ended in 1837.